I'm speaking with Maria C. Forbes, a Colby certified consultant and an expert on team building and practice growth. In any major life transition, particularly those involving the challenges of aging, healthcare, and special needs, there's usually three teams involved. Leading the effort is the financial advisor and his or her in-house team. Second, there may be a team of outside professionals involved, such as an attorney or CPA, medical professionals, medical practitioners, experts on Medicare and Medicaid, in-house caregivers, geriatric care members. These are what we call an expert resource team, or ERT. But often overlooked is that third team, the family care team. These are the family members or even close friends or companions who step in and coordinate and provide care for a loved one. Often their lives are disrupted with very high levels of stress and confusion. Maria, would you explain how a Colby trained facilitator such as yourself can work with a financial advisor to help coordinate the various teams that are involved? How do you help team members make decisions? How do you help bring order and process to what can be a stressful and confusing challenge for all involved, especially the family members and the person being cared for? When clients or their families are faced with caregiving challenges, tensions mount fast. Those who are affected by the circumstances are looking for a roadmap of sorts, a way to figure out quickly who will help them and when. While advisors are wrestling with the financial implications of these complex challenges, we help their clients with decision making. Advisors are like a concierge, considering options and coordinating solutions with outside providers. Like us, we call ourselves an expert resource team. Whenever you have two or more people working together in a challenge, you have a team effort. In business, we help people to recognize and focus their unique problem-solving strengths to work through the complexities of their role and to achieve the results they want, both individually and with others. We realize that if we can utilize these strengths to get things done more effectively in the workplace, why wouldn't we want the same benefit when we need it at home? So we make these processes available to client families who are facing the difficulties of working together as a team on behalf of a loved one. We see our client family as a family care team made up of members who are willing to participate in caregiving. We start by validating their instinctive approach to challenge. We consider their skills and experience as a professional and their motivation to help. Then we develop an arrangement of caregiving efforts that evolves as conditions change. We use mind mapping to create visual tools like the care role. This is an individual map that helps each member of the family care team to agree on what they will do, how they will get things done, and when. Then we pull it all together with the family team solutions map. This is the who, what, when, where, and how of caregiving for the entire family. Our goal is to help you eliminate the decision-making dysfunction and the relationship strain that happens to families when caregivers have no idea how to access the help they need. Thank you, Maria, for being on the team. It's my pleasure, Louis. It's a great working relationship and we appreciate the opportunity to collaborate. Again, thank you.